Hello Year 9. I'm now going to talk you through the answers for your homework for questions 11 to 15 on MathsWatch. Question 11 has a diagram, as shown below, and you are asked to complete the sentence Angle XBC is 55 degrees because XBC would be this angle here, and I can see that it forms an F shape which is corresponding with this angle here. So it's 55 degrees because corresponding angles are equal. For part B, you're asked to work out angle BXC. So if I started at B and went to X and then continued on to C, I'm looking to find this angle here, which is the top of a base top of an isosceles triangle. I know that base angles on an isosceles triangle are equal. So the angle at the bottom would also be 55 degrees. This is called angle BCX because if I start at B, travel to C and go up to X, I've created this angle. The reason for my answer is because base angles and isosceles triangle are equal. If I then add those two angles together and take it away from 180, I know that this angle BXC is 70 degrees and my reason is because angles in a triangle add to 180 degrees. Question 12. You are asked to find the size of angle X. You need to be very careful. It's not necessarily 105 degrees because the angle ABF is corresponding with 105 degrees. So I know that the angle below X is 105 degrees because it's corresponding. X and angle ABF are on a straight line. So if I take 105 away from 180, I get X, which is 75 degrees, and my reason are because angles on a straight line add to 180 degrees. Question 13. To find angle X, you're looking to see if you can find any angle rules in parallel lines. I can see that there is a Z shape here. So the angle at 69 degrees will also be equal to X. So X is 69 degrees. The angle next to this is 111 because angles on a straight line add to 180. When I add all the angles I know together, I get 276 degrees. And because angles in a quadrilateral or four-sided shape add to 360, that leaves me with Y being 69 degrees. You are not asked to give reasons for your answers, so you just need to work out the value. For question 14, you're asked to find all the interior angles of this four-sided shape. I'm looking to see if I can recognise any angle rules. I can see that A and this angle here, which is 79 degrees, form a semicircle. Angles on a straight line add to 180. So if I take 180 and I subtract 79, it leaves me with A being 101 degrees. B is corresponding with the angle at 79 degrees, so B must be 79. C is forming an X shape. This is called vertically opposite. Vertically opposite angles are equal. So C is the same, which is 83. I can then add these angles together and take that away from 360 degrees to leave me with D being 97 degrees. Again, you're not asked to find a reason for your answer. You just need to work out the angle. For question 15, I need to find the size of angle X and give reason for my answer. I need to look and see if I can see any other angles that are equal to 100 degrees. I can see that this angle here is corresponding to 100 degrees. So my reason would be that BFH, so if I start at B and go to F and continue to H, this angle here is 100 degrees because it's corresponding and corresponding angles are equal. X and this angle are on a straight line so if I subtract 100 from 180 I get 80 degrees so X is 80 because angles on a straight line add to 
180 degrees. Thank you for watching.